But guys, absolute pleasure to speak with you last night at the screen, which was fantastic. Oh, was great. Um, I, I have to commend you on your vision and the things you brought to the screen. And Caleb, I mean, unflinching. I mean, the stuff that you did, especially that you know that clinic scene at the end where you did the blood on the floor and the walls. <laughs> oh great <my> cinematography. <laughs> huh? Well, it comes from one, you know, the, they say gr directors create. Oh no, no, he had nothing to do with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was away that day. Uh, yeah, what you? Caleb was directing. He was having surgery, weren't you? Kareem. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting one of my balls removed. Ah, uh, so now you're down to three. Three. Okay. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> we just threw that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, guys, talk to me about the process. I mean, it's it's very high concept script, but it comes off, you know, almost very plausible in like a horrifically satire kind of way. So can you talk about the production and the development? Um, yeah. Uh, which aspect of the, the production? Yeah. Well, the fact that I mean. You create something that, even though it's wild and fantastic, you could see in a near future, you know, celebrity, you know, the, the, the allure to celebrity getting that far. Right. So, what, I guess, you know, was that your inspiration? Uh, yeah, I guess I, I just looked at what's already here and very slightly exaggerated it as a way of, of you know, to sort of caricature it to, to make a satiric point. But, um, so I think that was the, that was the main mm -hmm. process. Now, in, in your mind, is this near future, is this a Blade Runner future, is this you know, way out there? Uh, I was considering it alternate present. Okay. Uh, some people see it that way, some people read it as near future, which is fine. Okay. But it, that it's essentially... So it's, see it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that it's mostly... Um, mostly what, you know, our culture now, but with a, a little bit of an okay. exaggerated element. So how, how long was the development, you know, from inception to being on the big screen? Uh, eight years. Eight years. Okay. Yeah. But a lot of that was me writing while I was in film school. And, uh, okay. and it wasn't until... I started writing 2004, 2008. I made a short that was based on a scene from the feature I was writing. Was that um, Broken Tulips? Broken Tulips. Okay, yeah. uh, that's going to be one of my next questions. Oh, okay. Um, um, and then that kind of led me to, through a, uh, someone I've met in film school, to run this and doing a series of first time uh, features, Dean Fitchman, the producer, okay. one of the producers there. Um, and so yeah, the whole thing took about eight years, if you include writing. Okay. Now Caleb, what attracted you to this role? Um, did, it, did Malcolm say a great piece of science fiction? <laughs> 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 It was something I was wanting to say. It was something that I thought I could do. Um, I was in a very dark place and it pulled me out of it. Um, very hesitant, very scared to do it, to do the film. But um, I would have, um, I would have regretted it. Uh, had we, you know, you don't have any. You're not supposed to. You shouldn't regret anything. But that would have definitely been something that I, uh, yeah, I'd have been upset about when I did it. But I'm, knowing that Brendan believed in me, that would have been a dumb fucking thing for me to say no. Yeah. Well, Even though I was frightened. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, conversely, what made Caleb write for the role? The red hair and the freckles? Was <laughs> it? <laughs> was it a screenplay? Well, okay, well, it was, was a toad. Give me anyone with red hair and freckles. Ah. No, um, when we saw his, we saw his work. It was I, I hadn't met him personally before, um, but we saw. Thank his God, work. otherwise. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Moving down. But, um, yeah, then we saw his stuff. It was exciting. Well, there's there's a lot of aspects of the movie that just they're overpowering. You know, something like the music from E. C. Woodley. You know, can you talk about working with him? I mean, he made some of those scenes just. You know, took an over the top thing and just threw it further in your face. Yeah, no, Eric is amazing. Uh, yeah, he, he beat the shit out of everyone that you know comes to see him. <laughs> literally, you know. yeah, um, big fan of him. Yeah, he's really good, and uh, I mean we have a good relationship. He's actually my cousin, so I have, okay. um, so we had a good, and he did the music for the short. And he likes you, luckily. You know. Yeah, we we <laughs> get along and everything. So, good, so yeah. he's, um, I love what he does and we have a good relationship and so I was able to sort of sit in with him during uh, his editing sessions and you know we talked a lot beforehand and then he would do a bunch of stuff and then we get into the details and then we 
Yeah, so it was uh, it was a good way to collaborate where he, I, I think, mm -hmm. was happy with the music and it's all his music, but I, I got enough, it uh, was a, a part of that discussion enough to also be happy with it. Mm -hmm. Well, can you talk about some of those times when you're working with him, like what goes on in the spotting session when you say, I want this to be nothing here, but then just you know, go shoot the moon on this scene? Right. Yeah, we went through the, uh, the, f uh, the film uh, also with Matt Hannum, our editor. Um, I sat down with Eric and Matt, and uh, we just went through scene by scene together and really talked about uh, what we needed, what we wanted, his ideas, our ideas, and he, uh, you know, he has a very, he doesn't like to just throw stuff randomly at the film. He really likes to think about the overall structure, where things fit in, what they are thematically, you know, the interior life of the characters, and so. We had a lot of discussions about, you know, characters, what different scenes meant, and, and how the music was meant to support that. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a lot of scenes where, I mean, it was it was it was kind of difficult to watch. You know, Caleb, you're just so bold and focused. How, how do you prepare physically for something? You know, where you're just going to go almost ape shit on the scene. Ape shit. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I just like, no, 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 I, I keep mean, thinking of that scene just in the clinic. I like the very apes end. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but together, no good. No, no, together is great. Uh, <laughs> words are fantastic. Combinations are even better. Um, I was very sick for a long time, so um, I imagine I'm pulling from that. I have to be pulling from that. Um, telling myself that's why I was so sick. Um, so that was. Um, very beneficial for the client. Um, everything else was just uh, luck. No, uh, it's hard because it was um, the process was. I don't know if there was a process. You know, it was. You just keep falling on your face, you know, and, and let that happen over and over again until you know. I don't know. Fuck technique. It's a big bitch. So, um, it was just random things that I thought would help at that time. I'm punching the wall, doing some push ups, getting dizzy, make, you know, all, you know, all sorts of weird, stupid little things, buying a lot of those magazines, having the Eat Channel on all the time in the apartment. Um, Grace Kelly was on big posters outside in Toronto. Looking at that, um, masturbation, finding a certain sexual connection with um, the person I needed to. Um, there's all sorts of you know, little things that um, you don't know if they'll work, you don't know if they won't work, you know, but uh, you have to try them out, you have to find it, and only you and you know, everyone else can tell us if we did or if we didn't. Well, I think that you, you, you significantly broke the screen. It's like, I think that, you know, I'm a, I don't want to speak for the audience, but we could really feel your pain. I mean, the things you went through, when you know, all the blood rushed to your face, and the intensity, no, and the physicality. Some, that's some pain. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm curious, so, uh, Brandon, as, you know, directing Caleb... Oh, and hunger, that was a big thing that I always keep forgetting hunger. Is, um, I think it worked very well. Uh, the sickness, uh, there needs to be something in his eyes that you, I don't think you can, uh, you can't create. Sure. I don't think. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how, at least. You know, we have whatever a week or two, you know, before we start filming, whatever it was, 11 days, 12 days. Anyways, have to find whatever that is. And hunger was a very, I think that was very, it, it was close, as close as I could have found in the time that I found. Um, forgiving is something in the eyes, something is, uh, is just. I don't know what it, you know what I mean? Sure. Does that make sense? But hunger was uh, something that <laughs> I think helped a lot. And I always forget to bring that up because I don't know why. Well, now we've got it. <laughs> now we've got it. Yeah. But, but talk about your shooting style. You know, when Caleb is writhing and, you know, having this intensity, do you shoot one takes? Do you do multiple takes? I mean, what really, what... Um, it really depends on... Again, Caleb! <laughs> Again! Again! <laughs> Each of those was... 40 takes. Um, Kubrick. It, de <laughs> <laughs> it, depended sure. it depended on the shot and it depended on the. Um, I mean, we had Kareem Hussein, who was a 
you know, incredible uh, DP, and and he and Caleb, and you know, worked really well together maneuvering around for sure. for some of the. Yeah, I think we stepped on each other's feet like twice or something like that, which is just fucking remarkable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah they really got that flow. And that was it one time you said you had to. Kareem was so on balance with my walk and I uh, forget what scene that you had to tell him to, yeah, we had right? to tell him chop to it up a bit, you know, to get off. Get off the, whole, the whole screen, like, it's so, <laughs> it so in sync that it, the, the uh-huh. shot. Um, so, yeah. Which, I mean, by the way, it works a lot better. I, 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 it does. Yeah. Well, it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he's, we all, you know, we love Kareem. Mm-hmm. We work really well with him. And, and so, it would be different. I mean, uh, some of the shots we would do, like say in, in the clinic waiting room, we do it from the front, from the back. Mm-hmm. Try and do, try and do like a long take that goes all the way through it, and, and see what that's, how that plays out, and then from a different angle, from closer. So we would do a few takes. Okay. Uh, some of the stuff in, uh, you know, so a few of the things, especially in the white room, like we, if we got a really good one, we would just let that stand first okay. take because. First of all, it's a huge pain in the ass to clean up all that blood. <laughs> and, sure, yeah. and also, sometimes there's just something in that first take. Like, I think. We I broke the door in the first take. <laughs> Shoddy doors, you know. Yeah. So yeah, you, you broke the door in the rehearsal, I think. In the rehearsal? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Caleb punched yeah. a hole through the door. But so, yeah, sometimes you get. And, and I think we uh, you just get something in the, the first take and the next one. So it really depends <coughs> on the scene and what we were getting. Well, it's fascinating watching you two guys together. There's an obvious dynamic, and you know, Caleb just did sensational <laughs> on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm curious, anyway. <laughs> so, um, what's next? You know, are you guys going to work together again? You know, do you have this fucker. No. That is what the elbow was for. No, I'm, I'm done with that. There's a lot of truth to uh, just <laughs> <laughs> to the violence. I still have bruises. Can you jump? I don't. Know, they're in place. Like, it can't be done one of okay. Falls on his ass a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a final question. So, what, so what are you gonna, what, um, you know, I hate to always ask what's the next project, but yeah. I mean, just like, this is an amazing segue to just, I can't wait to see what you're going to give the world. Oh, thanks. That's very Yeah, that's you. That's all. I'm writing something. I hope it's going to be good and I'll get a chance to make it. Uh, I would love to move you know, This humble it. bastard. <laughs> very vague answer, but that's awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.